Hey, today we're gonna to talk about working with Ilford Pan F Plus 50 speed black and white film. Um, this film has incredibly high resolution, uh, very fine grain, yet it's also kind of a fussy film to work with. You really have to have a dialed in film developer combination to bring out what this film is capable of doing. So I decided to spend a couple of days and just really do a deep dive into best practices to get a negative that looks the way I like a negative to look. So first I took a look at PMK Developer, uh, which is a pyro-based developer, real natural combination with this film. Um, you rate the film at 32, an EI of 32, and just shoot uh, nine minutes in PMK, and it is a lovely negative that scans very easily. Yet, I also find it to be kind of boring. Um, I can't think of a better term for it. The grain is just so smooth and buttery, and the tonality, it just doesn't have the bite and the feel that I like from a negative. It just, I don't know, it's not what I like visually. It's a little too perfect for me. Um, so I said, well, what if I process this film in Rodinal? I know, I know Rodinal and Pen F50 is a good choice, but I wanted to be able to control the contrast. So I decided to do my pull development that I've been writing and doing a lot of videos here on Fidgetal about. I'll put a link to all of them in the description if you're interested. Um, and I decided to do a pull process test. So I decided to rate the film in my test at an exposure index of 25, 12, 6, 3.2, 1.7, 0.75, and I think I even went to 0.4. And all of that was gonna be processed at Rodinal 1 to 100 for five minutes. That's like the magic number that I always want. It's about a five minute development time. One to 100 uh, was my first test. I also tested one to 150, one to 200, um, but also always trying to keep it to that five minutes. And it turns out the one to 100, using the technique that I've outlined in the previous videos, looks really fantastic with this film. Um, what I found is that if I went to a higher dilution, 1 to 125, 1 to 5, uh, 150, 200, I was losing density, but I really wasn't gaining more of a pull. And so really 1 to 100 was a sweet spot with this film at five minutes. And if you remember, I don't do a pre-wet. What I like to do is a first 30 seconds of inversions followed by 10 seconds every minute for that full five minutes, and then just water bath for stop, fix, perma, hang to dry. Real simple, real fast process. Um, I found by pulling the film and by doing that one to 100 with Rodinal, I got a really great image at an exposure index of 25 was on the edge, but 12 was amazing, six was amazing, 3.2 was amazing, 1.7 was amazing. That range right there was phenomenal with the Rodinal 1 to 100. I had full shadows, totally controlled highlights. And you'll see in the sample image that I'm gonna show in just a minute, it was a really difficult day. So this film was being you know, really put to the absolute uh, max of a test that I could. We've got a lot of snow right now in Vermont and a lot of ice. And that ice was in full sun. And as you'll see from the scan, it's all there. And it's scanned so easily. So let's take a look at the image right now. And what you're seeing is my standard uh, winter test image that I always do. The dark side of the barn there, those values on the wood were placed as a zone three. You can see there's full detail. Everything's there, nothing's lost. The inside of the barn falls a little bit under a three. Once again, it's still phenomenal. Um, the snow, the bright snow in the sun was right around a zone eight, nine. I mean, really bright. And yet you can feel all of it. Nothing is lost. It's all beautiful. It's perfect. It's still fully visible. And, and, and I think that the overall contrast and the overall feeling of the image is amazing. Now, I made all the images with my Leica M3 with the 50 millimeter F2 uh, collapsible Summa Crown lens. We zoom into the image now. You can see that the resolving power is really excellent. And what I found is that using the Rodinal, for the developer gave me just a little more edge sharpness than I was getting with something like PMK. Gave me just a little more crispness to the file that I wanted to make it look more like what my eye wants. Now, I was not able to pull this film down as far as I was able to pull the Ferrandia P30. This stuff I could pull down to ISO, you know, 0.02. I mean, it just could be pulled so low and still maintaining beautiful contrast and tonality. And, and that is something that you need to remember too about the pull development. Not all films are gonna pull the same amount. Some films are only gonna pull two, three, maybe four stops. That's about it. Some films like the P30, because of its high silver content, 
you can pull 9, 10, 11 stops and still get a really great looking negative. I have not found a film yet that pulls more than P30. This pulls the most of any film I've ever seen. I suspect the Orto film by them would be very similar to this as well because it's a 50 speed film. It's very similar. I bet it would pull equally as well as the uh, P30 does. But the Pan F at an exposure index of 6 or 12 is exceptional in the road. Now, it's a completely different film. So if you're a fan of Pan F, and yet you've had difficult controlling the contrast, difficult maintaining highlight detail and shadow, absolutely give this a shot. Pan F, exposure index, anywhere from 12 down to say one. Um, and once again, road and all, one to 100, five minutes, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. I think you'll be blown away by just how good the images look. Thank you very much for listening. Can't wait to hear your thoughts. Now go shoot some film.